Hi, Kim West, the sleep lady, and today I'm going to answer Jenny's email. She wrote in the following. My daughter is 12 months old and I'm trying to teach her how to fall asleep and stay asleep on her own. She does pretty well at night. She goes to sleep easily and can sleep through the night for 11 and a half hours. Wow. Good job, Jenny and daughter. <laughs> but we're struggling with the naps. Because I went to get her when she woke up in her crib and nursed her and let her keep sleeping on me for several months, she now seems conditioned to wake up after 20 to 30 minutes. What can I do to help her reprogram her brain to stay asleep or at least go back to sleep? She'll fall asleep for her nap after only a few minutes of crying, and my feeling is, is that if she sleeps for less than 45 minutes, that's not a nap. What do you suggest? I do get her to, do I get her to sleep longer? If she was on my lap, she'd sleep one to two hours. We've been at this in earnest for nine days now. Any advice would be most appreciated. Jenny. Jenny, you know what? Nap coaching is definitely the hardest part of sleep coaching. And you and your daughter have done a great job. You know, you have to believe that, like, look at how much she's learned in just nine days. She's largely, I mean, she is sleeping through the night. And just so you know, naps take on average two to three weeks. Usually the first nap is the easiest and the second nap is the hardest. Okay, so you are right where I would think you would be at this stage. You know, you've gotten her sleeping through the night and you're struggling with naps, okay? And catnapping is tough, okay? Especially if she's been catnapping for a year, all right? So remember my rules about catnapping. You put her in awake for her nap, and when you know she wakes up under 45 minutes, you're absolutely right. That isn't a complete nap. I would go in, reassure her, it's okay, sweetie. You know, a little pat, whatever, you know, a little reassurance. And then depending on whether you're staying in the room or leaving and doing checks, I would do that. And I would really try for an hour if you can. And if not, at least a half an hour to see if you can get her back to sleep. And it is true while you're nap coaching, you're kind of tied to the house because if she doesn't go back to sleep, you do dramatic wake up, you get her out, and you're going to have to try for the next nap again. And that could be 45 minutes later because she hasn't had a really good nap. Okay, so don't lose hope. Know that this is the hardest time and you have to keep going and it gets better. The morning nap's going to fall into place first and then that little stubborn afternoon nap will fall into place. Promise, especially if you're consistent. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks.